Hey there, back again with another Is It Worth It? This time we are taking a look at Gone Ryu 2, which released on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, as well as PC. This is a sequel to a game from the late 90s that released originally on Neo Geo. Better late than never, right? It stays true to side scrollers of that era with brutal, unforgiving difficulty that will not be for everyone. Let me start off with what some of what I liked. The visuals and art style were awesome. A perfect love letter to that era of platformer while running very smoothly on a Series X. The enemies and bosses felt fair and more about memorization and patterns, which made progress feel rewarding and not about luck. Don't let that fool you though, because it is extremely difficult. More on that in a little bit. Both your up close sword attack as well as your range attack require thought, timing, and precision. Everything about my experience felt polished from the artwork to how smoothly it ran to the sound, everything. What I could not get past, however, and what many others who give it a shot will not get past, is the ridiculous difficulty of this game. Admittedly, even with playing for a few hours, I just couldn't make all that much progress into the story mode. You only get three lives and no continues. There are, from what I can tell based on the achievement list, five or six stages and four or so levels on each stage. When you complete a stage, your lives and health do not go back up. It is wildly unforgiving. If you get lucky, one of the item boxes mid-level may give you an extra life, but not often. If you're to lose all of your lives mid-run or mid-stage, you restart the game in full. Not back to that stage, not back to the prior stage. Back to stage one. While it may feel rewarding to make it a little bit farther on each of my runs, in the end, I left feeling frustrated having to restart over and over. Each run is not short. It took me 15, 20 minutes before I would die and have to restart all over again. It's not like a roguelike where you slowly progress or unlock new abilities as you go. It's more about memorization and learning the patterns of each level. I think there's a place in the industry for unforgiving games. This game definitely fills that niche. Just make sure what you are looking for is that when you start this up. Even though some other games of this era may have been unforgiving, um, this is a more memorable one in terms of difficulty. I enjoyed my time with it, but my experience was limited due to the difficulty. That wraps up another episode of Is It Worth It? I hope you like this video, and if you want to support future content, please like and subscribe. Thank you.